Here is another example to use Pascal's triangle to expand binomial powers. Question 3. Expand and simplify binomial power 2x plus 3y whole cube, right? So since the exponent is 3, we'll be looking into the third row of Pascal's triangle, right? So let's start making a Pascal's triangle. It starts with 1 always, right? And then let's go down. So as we go down on the wings, we get 1, right? So here we have 1 and 1. There's only one way of going diagonally downwards, correct? And so, so here, second row also will have 1 and 1. But when you come in the center, then there are two ways. One from this side, the other one from here. So we get 2 here, 1 here, and 1 here, correct? And this is our third row. So third row, we make it here, combining these two. And we get 1 here, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 1. Correct? So, since the exponent is 3, third row is of our interest. Correct? So what does this tell us? It tells us that 2x plus 3y is going to have four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms. And in each term, these are going to be my coefficients. Coefficients of the first term, coefficient of the second, coefficient of the third, coefficient of the fourth term, right? And as you know, these are my a's or b's. a is 2x and b is 3y. And when we start expanding it, let's do it. So we get 2x plus 3y Q, we can write this as equal to, so 2x is our first, is A, right? So coefficient is 1, so we get just 2x to the power of 3. Plus, now we write this, 2x is A, but the exponent decreases by 1, so instead of 3, it becomes 2, and we get 3y to the power of 1. And Coefficient is 3, so we have 3 here, correct? Then plus 3 is the coefficient for the third term. And now the exponent of 2x is just 1, but that of 3y is 2. You will appreciate that 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and this is 3. So their sum is always 3, okay? And that is our fourth and last term, whose coefficient is 1, and the term is 3y to the power of 3, correct? So that is how we are going to expand it. And now let's try to kind of simplify it. When we say 2x cubed, then it becomes 2 cube x cube. 2 cube is 8, right? So we write 8x cube plus, when we write this, it is 2 square x square, and 2 square is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So let me write 12 here, x square. I forgot to multiply by 3y, so let me do it in the next step, okay. Plus, here, we'll, so we'll combine them in the next step with y's. So 2 times 3 is 6x, times, this is, 3 squared is 9y squared, so we'll write 9y squared, plus 3 cubed is 27, so we get 27y, right? Now let's combine these terms, which I forgot last time, so let's do it. 8x cubed plus 3 times 12, 36, x square y plus 9 times 6, 54, oops, 54, xy square plus 27, y cube, y cube, right, 27, y cube. So that is the simplified form of our 2x plus 3y whole cube. So I hope you appreciate how useful Pascal triangle is to expand binomial terms. Thank you.